Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Three tips here. And uh, what I have here is a few pieces of platinum that uh, we recovered from some jeweler's waste and some previous refinings, little pieces of it, and I've just saved that. And here we have some uh, platinum jewelry pieces. And what we're going to do today is take a look at some of this stuff and try to uh, do a platinum refining and see if we can extract some pure metal from some of these uh, pieces of platinum that I have here. What we have here is a collection of platinum rings. Let's see if we can zoom in on this so you can see what the marking looks like. There's one you can see it says platinum. PLAT. Here's the best one. It's 900 platinum and 100 iridium. So 10% iridium alloyed with 90% platinum. That's a common alloy for platinum jewelry. And there's another one so this is the stuff we're going to be working with today since this is relatively new to me I've selected four pieces here that we'll work with this one I'll take the stone out of this one I think the stone is a, a white sapphire but we've got these four rings here that we're going to be dealing with all right, I'm going to put the rings in here. That's 14. I'm going to take one out. I don't want that much. It's going to be too much. That's 10 grams. And then we got these little pieces. I'm going to add this in. So there's 13.7 grams of scrap platinum jewelry. That we're going to try to purify. There's a convenient way to determine if we've got platinum or not. And what we do is, let's see, I got a mark on it. Yeah, it's platinum. There's a mark in there. And the uh, way we do this is just take an open flame and burn this, heat it to redness. And when it cools back off, you won't even be able to tell that a flame has touched that metal. That's a unique property of platinum. For contrast, I have a uh, 14K ring here. It's got a mark down in there. It says 14K. And we'll do the same thing with the gold ring. Just put a flame on it. Heat it to redness. melted it but you can tell the difference the metal becomes discolored and that's what uh, the difference is between gold silver and other metals and platinum this is the ring that we heated up you can't even tell a flame has been on it before we get started what I'll do is uh, I've got a rolling machine and I'll take the metal the rings that are like this and I'll put them through the roller so that they look like this flatten them out get them as skinny as I can in order for the aqua regia to be able to dissolve that metal
we've been out here at this about it's taken about half hour I guess maybe a little longer to roll all these pieces out we got them nice and thin now we've got our little bits and pieces of material in here the book says the longer we spend at the roller the less time we'll have to spend at the acids I'm going to put these larger pieces into the ultrasonic and just let the uh, solution in here kind of clean some of the junk off of these pieces of metal up here. I've got them cleaned up as best as I can. Now what we're going to do is add these small pieces right into this beaker. And then we're going to chop up these longer pieces into small pieces. I almost forgot we need to uh, pour the metal into this unglazed melt dish and then what we're going to do is twist all these little pieces that we've uh, cut up and add those to the melt dish and the reason we're doing this is so that the pieces don't lay flat on the bottom of the reaction beaker Here we go, we've got everything twisted up. Now let's go out and incinerate the material. We'll start the processing, here we go. Now let's heat this up. What this will do is this will soften the metal and burn off any impurities before we put it in the acid. I've got a beaker here with a stir bar in it. I'm adding some hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid is the same thing as muriatic acid. Muriatic acid is the same thing as hydrochloric acid. So we're gonna add about uh, 200 milliliters of hydrochloric acid to this clean beaker with a stir bar in it. Now we'll add the platinum the beaker. Now we're going to set the beaker up here on the heat and start heating our mixture. Got our platinum up on the heater. The stir bar running. I'm gonna add about uh, 50 milliliters of nitric acid. Start dissolving the platinum. Our solution has become dehydrated, so what we're going to do is measure out a little bit of hydrochloric acid into this beaker, about 100 milliliters. And 
Now what we'll do is we'll slowly add this in to our uh, platinum. Try to rehydrate this reaction carefully, carefully. Some reason my little stir bar there quit working. There we go. Yeah, you can see over here. There's still some solid chunks of metal down in the bottom of the beaker. Just leave this on the heat and let this react. All right, let's put in a little bit more nitric acid. Measure up a little bit in this beaker. Maybe about 20 milliliters or a little less, even. And now we're going to measure out another 100 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. about 75 rather and I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna add these into our reaction now just gonna put the uh, hydrochloric acid right on in there and then we're gonna follow that up with the nitric acid it's about 15 milliliters that slow because this is hot. Let's see if we can get the rest of that metal to go in the solution. All my fumes have cleared up in there. I think my stir bar, my hot plate stir is crippled. It's not working properly. I still see some metal down in here. Oh gosh, I hate working with this stuff. Now what we're gonna do is pour off the uh, the solution that I have. You can still you can see up there. There's still plenty of metal up inside the beaker. I'm gonna pour off this solution. I'm gonna rinse it out with some hydrochloric acid. I'm not a platinum refiner, nor do I want to become one. This stuff is too dangerous, man, for hobby level stuff like this. There's absolutely no way to do this in a backyard setting. No way. Too dangerous. Now what we're going to do is put a little bit of the... Let's see, I think we can add some hydrochloric from our squirt bottle here. Only about half of the platinum is dissolved. See, there's plenty in there still. Set this back up on the heat. Now, I think what we'll do is get this out of the way. Just gonna set it off to the side. I'm gonna put a little bit more hydrochloric acid into the reaction. It's about 150 milliliters. Just gonna add that right in. Now what we'll do is add a little bit more hydrochloric acid, or uh, nitric acid rather. Nitric acid. Just gonna add some in. Put this beaker about. Uh, about 50 milliliters, I guess. I'm just gonna dump that right on in now. And continue with this reaction, trying to get the rest of that platinum to go in solution.
what we're trying to do here is put the platinum in solution with aqua regia and up to this point I've probably used well I haven't kept track but I've put multiple doses of hydrochloric acid into the reaction multiple doses of nitric acid into the solution platinum does not like to dissolve very well in hot aqua regia and uh, I think I've been at it now about six hours uh, what we're gonna do here is pour off this solution I've got those uh, thick gloves that go all the way up to my shoulders to protect my arms and hands and uh, refining platinum is just it's just not suitable for a, a setup like I have here. When I reach my hands into the uh, fume hood with that platinum fumes going on in there, when I pull my hands back out, I'm bringing some of that fume out into my work area. So I've got a mask on right now. Using a crude setup like this to refine platinum is just not safe. What I should have is a uh, cabinet that has gloves built into it so that I can just stick my hands into the gloves like a uh, sandblasting cabinet that has gloves built into the cabinet and so I don't have to withdraw anything after it's been in contact with those fumes you just had the fixed gloves you stick your hands in the gloves manipulate the uh, solutions as you need to and then when you pull your hands back out they just come out of the gloves so this is just too dangerous to try to attempt at the hobby level here like I am working at here I'm adding some additional hydrochloric acid I think I put in a total of about 300 milliliters of the hydrochloric acid and now we'll follow that up with another 60 milliliter dose of nitric acid This is about a half hour time lapse. You can see the platinum metal down there dissolving and getting smaller as the uh, aqua regia puts it in solution. But it's gonna be very difficult to dissolve 100% of this metal. At some point it's gonna be diminishing returns and I'll just leave a little bit of residual metal in there undissolved. probably been on here about seven hours now maybe eight hours I've had at least maybe two liters of hydrochloric acid in there and probably 400 maybe half a liter of nitric and I just leave it on the heat and it boils down and then I'll add more of those acids to keep trying to put the uh, platinum in solution it's very resistant it does not like to go into solution even with the hot aqua regia here. So now I've got most of it to go into solution. What I'm gonna do, this is the platinum solution that I've been pouring off to get it out of the way so I can add fresh reagents to the metal. I'm pouring this back into the main beaker now. The uh, fume hood sash out of the way there. I'm pouring the platinum that I poured off back into the main beaker so that we can allow this to boil and reduce so that we can evaporate off and get a highly concentrated solution to uh, drive off any excess nitric acid that might be in here. And here, if you look in a minute, when I pour this off, you'll see how some of it splash up, a little brown dot on the beaker in my left hand there. There it is right there, that little brown dot. That is a splash of the platinum chloroplatinic acid there that splashed up and hit the beaker. That's why I got these protective gloves on to prevent any of that stuff from getting on my skin. It's highly toxic. Very nasty stuff. You just cannot get any on your skin or it creates platinosis, which is a disease of the skin that never goes away. And if you look down in here, you'll be able to see that we still got 
some chunks of metal that are undissolved. That main white piece right there in the middle is the stir bar. I need to get that out of there because my stir plate quit functioning. And now here, what we're going to do, see that little brown spot on that beaker right in front there, right behind the nitric beaker. There we go. I zoomed in on it. That's a little splash of the platinum salts, the platinum solution that came up out of the beaker as I was uh, pouring that liquid in. We're going to get some on a piece of filter paper here, do a Stannis test. There you go. That bright orange color proves that we have platinum in solution. It's fairly high concentration there. And so now what we're going to do is just leave this up on the heat and reduce this down to a syrup to drive off any excess nitric acid that might still exist in that solution. I've had this on the heat now for a good 12 hours. You'll notice that it's evaporated down to a syrup. We're gonna add a little hydrochloric and see if we can kick out some nitric acid fumes. And I don't see anything. Normally if we were, we were expelling excess nitric from that solution, we'd see some brown fume production in there as we add the hydrochloric. And I don't see any. What that tells me is that the uh, excess nitric, if any, has been consumed by the reaction or driven away as we evaporated the solution down to a syrup. So here we go, I've got 50 milliliters left. I'm just gonna add it right on in, hydrochloric acid. And now what we'll do is we're gonna reach in here, turn everything off and thankfully, I'm done with the uh, dissolve phase, hopefully. And we're going to pull this down off the heat and just let it cool off now. Here we go. We're going to try to uh, filter our solution off here now. I've got it in an ice bath to cool it off. pour this through our filter and filter our solution. I've got a filter here that I've dampened with some hydrochloric acid. I'm just going to pour through this filter now. This might take a while. I've got just about everything pulled through the filter here. And what we're going to do is I've got some hydrochloric acid in the squirt bottle. We're going to rinse our beaker out with the hydrochloric acid. Pretty much got just about all of the platen to go in solution. Just a few little bitty pieces left up here. There's a look at the uh, residual platinum that was left in our beaker. It's not much, just a few little flakes. This is pretty close to the right concentration that we need to do the precipitation. We need about 20 milliliters per gram of material. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to take this uh, funnel out of here. Pretty much got all this out of here. Set it back up out of the way. Now what we'll do is we'll transfer our platinum solution into a clean beaker. We 
use hydrochloric acid to rinse it. Now what we'll do is get a little bit of this solution on a piece of filter paper. We're going to test it with Stannis just to verify that we've got platinum in solution. There you see that orange stain verifies that we do have platinum in solution. I have a saturated solution of ammonium chloride here. And saturated means that uh, I've got enough ammonium chloride dissolved in there that, so that no more will dissolve. And what we're going to do here, stir this up a little bit. What we're going to do is precipitate out our platinum. Here we go. We're going to add the saturated ammonium chloride solution to this platinum let's see what happens we got to have it at the right concentration if we get too concentrated then we'll form this slush that has to be addressed and if it's not concentrated enough then the platinum won't come out of solution very well here we go we're going to add the ammonium chloride right on in here we go Let's get down in here and give this a stir. I'll rinse this down with a little bit of hydrochloric acid. I did not expect a rose colored precipitate from this. Let's get down in here and get some of this on our it's starting to settle you can see in there. Let's check this with Stannis. Wow. You can see Just about 100% of the platinum has come out of solution there. There's our initial test right down here. That thing is dark orange with platinum. And then here's this test. It's got just a touch of orange on it. So I think what we'll, we'll do here, it's going to take a while to settle. It's starting to settle. But I think what we're going to do is call it here. This will complete or conclude part one of the platinum refining video. And we'll cover this up and let it settle. And we'll pick up right here in part two. Thank you for watching.